Hi, this is Pam Maher with Fiber Crafty, and I am here today to do a knitting math tutorial for you, and I have a special guest with me. This is my son Bradley. Bradley is 12, and he loves math, and it comes very easily to him, and I don't feel the same way about math, that's okay, um, but I was recently working on some calculations for a project I was going to start, and I asked Bradley to double check everything for me, and we talked about doing this knitting tutorial or math tutorial for knitting. So the project I was working on, and I've actually gotten quite far, I'm gonna drop a picture of it in here. But it is a rectangular shawl, and the pattern is called Mini Bubbles by Kieran Foley. And it is, you create circular uh, open lace sections by dropping stitches. And I wanted to, I'm using a yarn that's striping, and I wanted my striping to be horizontal instead of vertical. So I wanted to cast on more stitches to make it a lot wider than the pattern originally calls for. So just to give you an idea, I wanted to go from this, where it's only 31 inches wide, to at least 54 inches wide. And instead of having the stripes this way, I wanted the stripes well, if you were to wear it, you'd be wearing it like this. And I wanted the stripes to be running horizontally. So somebody had already knit this same project using the same yarn that I'm using and using the same size stitches. So I decided not to knit a gauge swatch, but to use the measurements that she had included in her pattern, which was very helpful. So I appreciate it when people put a lot more information in their Ravelry patterns for situations like this. So her shawl was 31 inches wide and she used 123 stitches. So the first thing that I needed to do was calculate what her gauge was, which is 3.97 stitches to the inch. And the formula that I used is right here. So to get your stitches per, stitches per inch, you take the number of stitches divided by the number of inches. Yes, yeah, so I divided 123 by 31 and the result was 3.97 stitches per inch. So just about four inches per inch. So the next thing I needed to do was I want my shawl to be 54 inches wide. So I took that stitches per inch so I would know how many stitches and I took 3.97, multiplied it by 54, and that gave me 214.38, which Obviously, as a knitter, everyone knows we're not gonna cast on 0.38 stitches. So I was gonna have to do a little bit more refinement um, beyond this. And here's the formula I used to calculate how many stitches I needed. Do you wanna So this? your stitches per inch times how many inches that you would like it to be would give you the total estimated amount of stitches, but we're gonna have to do some refinement right for this pattern right so this pattern is actually calculated in in the pattern the designer tells you this so sometimes you don't have that information from the designer but in this case it is so it's a multiple of 15 plus 18 stitches so that means so it's some so it could be 15 30 45 right. plus 18, but 18 only once. That's correct. So 18 once, and then the other number has to be divisible by 15 exactly. So we needed to figure out what number divisible time uh, divisible by 15 plus 18 was going to be the closest to 214.38. So, so what we did was we subtracted 18 from 214.38, and then we I think divided that's on the that next one. by 15. Yes. And so we got about 13, so 13.06. And we're just going to round down because that would be more accurate. So then we took 13 times 15, and that would be 195. Plus 18 is about 213. Right. 
So that started looking more like the number that I needed to use to cast on for my stitches. So this is basically what we just did, but we took 214, subtracted 18, and got 196, and then... 196 divided by 15 will give us 13 right. multiples. So then 13 times 15 is 195, plus the 18 gives us a total of 213. And then if I wanna double check, we took 213 and divided by 3.97, which is our stitches per inch. And we got 53.65 inches, which is about what we were aiming for. Right, so that's really close to 54 inches and I can still do some blocking um, if I need to tweak that size um, when I do this, because it is such an open, lacy pattern, it's gonna block out um, pretty easily. So the formula for this was stitches, number of stitches cast on over your stitches per inch, and that'll give you your total inches right. that you would have. So here we have 213 stitches cast on, and our stitches per inch was 3.97, and so that gave us about 554 inches. Yep. So. I have, uh, the, the pattern is still squished up on the needles because of the blocking. I'm not gonna be able to tell exactly, but I've done a little bit of um, stretching and measuring and I think I am on track. Um, it's, I'm excited to see how it actually turns out and I'll definitely report back. But um, I think that we did all of our math correctly and it should be perfect. So I hope that you enjoyed this knitting tutorial. I am going to write a blog post that coincides with this, so you can check the fibercrafty.com slash blog and see the corresponding blog post where I will write out all of these formulas for your reference so you don't have to watch the video a bunch of times if, if you're interested in it. If you liked this and you would like to see more knitting math videos, then please put a comment below and let us know what kind of math you'd be interested in seeing and we will certainly see what we can do to help you out. Thank you so much, Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me today. You're welcome. And I hope everyone has a crafty day. Goodbye. Bye-bye.